we leave you on this cold winter night with a heartwarming story about the unexpected benefits of a long, hot steam. People have been using saunas and sweat lodges for centuries, and now researchers have discovered they could be just what the doctor ordered. CTV's medical specialist, Avis Favreau, explains. Since ancient times, people have done this, convinced that sauna bathing is good for their health. Rejuvenation, you know, after, and uh, I feel very relaxed. To me, when you walk out of here, you feel like you're six inches taller, you could walk on water. And the manager of this sauna in West Toronto says business here is booming. Or last week we had the heavy snowfall and we get slammed because people are feeling, uh, you know, they, they're feeling chilled to the bone and they need to get warm. But saunas may do more than just make you sweat. Researchers in Finland tracked over 2,300 men over two decades, finding those who used saunas consistently had a dramatic 63% decrease in deaths from heart attacks and strokes and a surprising 66% reduction in dementia and Alzheimer's. We know on the basis of previous studies that uh, memory diseases and cardiovascular diseases may have the same shared risk factors. So this can be uh, one possible explanation for our findings. Researchers call this passive heat therapy and say they noticed improvements in blood pressure, blood flow and heart function in as little as four sessions a week over just two months. And the thinking is that it's all because saunas boost the body's core temperature, promoting better blood flow. The main theory is that really it resembles exercise. When we get hot, our heart rate increases, um, our blood vessels dilate or open up in the skin. Um, and it's really that increase in blood flow that is thought to um, provide the benefits of heat in terms of cardiovascular health. In fact, he's planning two more studies using this sauna inside the Montreal Heart Institute. And if we can just give simple lifestyle habits to individuals that they can use on a day-to-day -day basis, I think that would be very powerful. With scientists trying to validate what some cultures have suspected all along. Avis Favreau, CTV News, Toronto.